Gentlemen, good morning. I invite you to stand for the national anthem. standing as I invite Mrs. Yvonne Barnett Russell to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, Father of all creation, wisdom, and power, we thank you that we gathered here today as we official, officially launch our lobbying efforts towards increasing the visibility of Jamaica's candidature campaign for election to the International Civil Aviation Organization Council. We thank you for this significant moment. And so, Lord, as we pray, we implore you, O oh Lord, to help us as a country, a player in the aviation industry, with your help to succeed in making impactful differences when we sit in the seat of this council. Thank you for all the commitments from our partners, our ambassadors, our missions, and all persons present giving active support by means of lobbying and other measures through our overseas missions and locally. Thank you for the teamwork employed by the committee and all persons, along with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, who helped in spearheading this lobbying efforts. Continue to bless our development, our strategic approaches, as we work together to support all countries as we move forward. Bless our activities here today. Continue to guide our deliberations and favor us with your uncommon wisdom. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Barnett Russell, uh, Director of Legal Services at the Ministry of Transport and Mining. Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica, distinguished heads of missions and other members of the attending diplomatic community, the Honorable Audley Shaw, Minister of Transport and Mining, and officers of the Ministry of Transport and Mining, Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, and officers of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Senator the Honorable Leslie Campbell, Minister of State in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Mr. Mikhail Phillips, Opposition Spokesman on Housing, Transport and Works. High Commissioner of Jamaica to Canada, Her Excellency Sharon Miller. Dr. Alvin Hales, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Transport and Mining. Ambassador Sheila Seeley Monteith, Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. 
Mr. Lloyd Pommels, Chairman of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, Mr. Audley Dietrich, President of the Airports Authority of Jamaica, Mrs. Dawn Smith Fagan, Chief Technical Director, acting at the Ministry of Transport and Mining, Ambassador Janice Miller, Chief Technical Director at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Directors and other members of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority and our counterpart Civil Aviation Authorities, Directors, Officers and members of the represented ministries and other state organizations, Attending delegations and participants from other contracting, ICAO contracting states, representatives of participating local and international organizations, other members of Jamaica's aviation industry, including the Airports Authority of Jamaica, Sangster International Airport, and the Norman Manley International Airport, valued members of the media, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, joining us from within Jamaica and various locations worldwide, a very warm good morning to you all. I am delighted to extend the warmest Jamaican welcome to all who are present in person here at this lovely Kingston Hall and virtually on our online platform as we officially launch Jamaica's candidature to the International Civil Aviation Organizations, ICAO as we call it, the Council for the 2022 to 2025 Triennium. Today represents a defining moment for Jamaica, our regional partners, and indeed the collective 193 nations which are member states of ICAO. Despite being a small island state, Jamaica has had a long and rich aviation history as an air transport hub. With the first reported flight in Jamaica recorded only eight years after the groundbreaking flight by the Wright brothers. Indeed, through our many regional and international associations, committee memberships, regional organization, and working group memberships, Jamaica has remained a steadfast, diligent, collaborative, cooperative, dedicated, standards-driven, and supportive ICAO member state since 1963. We continue to support, nurture, and enhance national, regional, and global aviation as an essential component of our global society and as a critical enabler of social, economic, and cultural development for our world, region, and our nation. Today, as I welcome the honorable ministers of government, the distinguished heads of mission representing each state, as well as the representatives of various United Nations organizations, aviation industries, ministries and agencies, and the general air transport public, I convey Jamaica's sincere gratitude for the support you have shown by joining the launch this morning. Today is the beginning of continued renewal and improvement processes, which have positioned ICAO as one of the most efficient, robust, and effective United Nations organizations currently existing. Valued partners and stakeholders, we launched this candidature at a time when aviation faces a myriad of challenges. There are many and relate to global tensions, volatility in geopolitical and economic environments, supply chain disruptions, cybersecurity events and threats, investment funding requirements for new and essential aviation infrastructure programs and technologies, talent retention and development crises, and public health emergency, emergencies of international concern. In this context, Jamaica and our partners are acutely aware of the need for even more robust and inclusive participation and collaboration from all locations and regions within the aviation industry. If we are to meet our, our mutual goals related to safety, sustainability, efficiency, and growth. As Jamaica positions itself 
to lead efforts that define and attain new levels of participation and collaboration to support the very significant work of the ICAO Council for the 2022 to 2025 triennium. I thank you again for your presence and look forward to your support of Jamaica's candidacy. On behalf of our nation, I wish you one love. It is now my immense pleasure to invite to the podium Jamaica's Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, who will bring remarks at this time. The Most Honorable Andrew Holness in absentia, the Honorable Audley Shaw, Minister of Transport and Mining, Ambassador Sheila Siliman Teeth, Permanent Secretary, Head of the Foreign Service, Dr. Alwyn Hales, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Transport and Mining, Mr. Nari William Singh, Director General of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, representatives of both ministries, uh, departments, the relevant departments and agencies present here this morning, heads of diplomatic missions of Jamaica, heads of the diplomatic corps and international organizations, good morning and welcome to you all. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you both virtually and in person to the Hugh Lawson Shera Building, headquarters of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, and to join in the official launch of Jamaica's candidature to part three of the Council of the International Civil Aviation Authority for the P organization, pardon me, for the period 2022 to 2025. This is indeed an important candidature for Jamaica, and we are pleased to receive the endorsement of CARICOM and full support as one of the eight candidatures presented by the Latin American and Caribbean Civil Aviation Commission, LACAC. Jamaica began to make or mark on the aviation industry just six years after our political independence with the establishment of our national flagship, Air Jamaica, which soared through the skies for almost five decades. The development of our civil aviation space has continued with the expansion of the Norman Manley and Sangster International Airports, and most recently, the Ian Fleming International Airport. These all act as focal points for access and connectivity to North, Central, and South America, to Europe, Africa, Asia, and now the Middle East. Jamaica's reach and accessibility demonstrates the growth of our civil aviation industry and our desire to strive for greater interconnectedness. Ladies and gentlemen, we recognize the essential contribution by international air transport to national, regional, and global economic and social development, and in particular, to the expansion of international trade. Indeed, Jamaica's ability to participate in the movement of people and goods has been integral to the advancement of our international relationships and partnerships. As Foreign Minister, it is critical to make global connections through which I advance and defend Jamaica's interests and build bridges with bilateral partners and in multilateral fora. The civil aviation industry allows Jamaicans to represent as good ambassadors in many pursuits, including industry and commerce, sports and entertainment and culture. Importantly, civil aviation continues to play a large role in maintaining the all important linkages with our diaspora. Civil aviation is indeed important to the work of government. Aviation, which is such an important part of our lives, must be properly regulated and encouraged. We therefore believe that the ICAO should continue to play a leadership role in developing policies and guidance on air transport safety and regulation, taking into account states' changing needs as well as those of other interested stakeholders. The body is tasked with ensuring that policies, guidance, and other material remain relevant, current, and responsive. Ladies and gentlemen, we are therefore pleased to play our part to ensure that Jamaica will be sitting at the table where policies on international tra air transport are developed. As a representative of small island developing states, we will make important contributions as the world adapts to the changes in the air transport regulatory and operating environment and seeks to sustainably grow the aviation industry. 
This is a most opportune time for Jamaica's candidature as the world seeks to reposition international aviation in the wake of the pandemic, which drastically and negatively affected the industry. With the gradual reopening of the international borders and economies, it is a relief to see the global aviation industry recovering and ready to thrive again. We see evidence of this here in Jamaica as we anticipate welcoming over 1 million airlift passengers to the island during this summer months alone. The restoration of travel and the ready connection of people across the globe are part of how we are building back better. This brings into sharp focus the country's alignment with the vision of the Council of the ICAO to, and to achieve, and I quote, the sustainable growth of the global civil aviation system, quite simply. This objective is even more relevant today as Jamaica and many countries across the globe face significant supply chain disruptions and the increased cost of global transportation. Where there is co collaboration, however, where all interests are present through strategic and inclusive representation, Jamaica in concert with all stakeholders can play its part in the ICAO Council to forge innovative solutions to our common problems within the sector. This will help us to explore and engage new opportunities, enhancing aviation for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamaica's record in international affairs has undoubtedly been one which consistently demonstrates a belief in multilateralism and respect for sovereignty. In that respect, our unwavering commitment to international institutions like the ICAO remains solid. In this Jamaica's 60th year of independence, as we reflect on the country's achievements, I am assured that through membership of the ICAO Council, Jamaica will be enabled to make valuable contributions to the international decision-making that will take aviation to new heights. Jamaica, therefore, looks forward to the kind support of our international partners for our candidature to part three of the Council of the ICAO Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, in advance. Thank you very much, um, Minister Johnson-Smith. I now invite to the podium the Honorable Audley Shaw, Minister of Transport and Mining for his remarks, and my boss. The Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister of Jamaica. The Honorable Minister, in whose lovely place <laughs> we are here today, and officers of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, distinguished heads of mission, and other members of the attending diplomatic community, officers of the Ministry of Transport and Mining, directors and other members of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority and counterpart civil aviation authorities, attending delegations and participants from other ICAO contracting states, representatives of participating local and international organizations, members of Jamaica's aviation industry, including the airports authority of Jamaica, um, led by um, somebody with a, a good name. But I, I asked him how he spelled his name. Mine is A-U-D-L-E-Y. And happily he told me it was the same because I said to him, other spelling could be O-D-D-L-Y. <laughs> 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 and of course, um, let me say, um, 
the, as I said, the Airports Authority, MBJ, SIA, and MIA. Valid members of the media, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, joining us from within Jamaica and various locations worldwide. It is my esteemed pleasure to present Jamaica's candidature to the International Civil Aviation Organization Council for the 2022-2025 Triennium. I'm happy to join in this very important event, ultimately aimed at strengthening Jamaica's and the region's global position in civil aviation. We remain acutely aware of the special role ICAO has uh, always had in the international community, enabling us to travel the world safely and with reassurance. The Ministry of Transport and Mining, which I have the, the honor of leading, has portfolio responsibilities for all modes of transportation in Jamaica. We must therefore ensure that civil aviation activities in our airspace are in compliance with the ICAO's international regulations for safety and security as we demonstrate the theme, Reconnecting the World, Runway to Aviation Recovery. This theme has profound relevance from a regional, national, and international perspective, given the effects of the ongoing pandemic and the unique opportunities for transformation that the pandemic has afforded the aviation industry. These include the automation of services for both the commercial and cargo sectors touchless and contactless check-in, immigration and supply chain support, transforming the current revenue sources and business models, as well as ecological advances through biofuel and electrical energy sources, which reduce aviation's carbon footprint. Undoubtedly, the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic brought into focus the necessity of having relevant regulation and guidance in place to manage our aviation sector. Despite the constraints of the pandemic, we nevertheless communicate to our nation and the world at large that we believe in our worth, capability, and leadership based on our history of strong stewardship, intra-regional collaboration, and the capacity building, none of which have been decreased by the recent challenges. It is this indomitable spirit that now drives us to put forward our candidature for election to the Council. While the industry is faced with a myriad of challenges, Jamaica and the regional partners we seek to represent have remained united, strong, and resilient, even with the closure of our borders during the peak of the pandemic. Indeed, our region continues to show our resourcefulness, dedication, and harmonization with the goals and ideals of the industry during and beyond this challenging time. Air transport is the safest mode of transport. And we are aware of the need to retain the confidence of the traveling public in regard to aviation safety, security, and environmental performance. In this regard, Jamaica remains committed to working with the ICAO and its other members, states, and industry stakeholders to ensure that the rapid growth of our sector continues in a safe, secure and a sustainable manner. Perhaps the person who coined the term, it is a small world, foresaw the impact that aviation would have on the world, connecting different peoples and cultures, bringing the world together, literally into one community. The sky is indeed the limit 
when we consider the possibilities of the aviation industry. This industry continues to drive the development of the modern world and remains an unparalleled force for many indispensable areas of life and industry. With support and representation from Jamaica, the industry will ensure continued and renewed facilitation of trade, improved standard of living, tourism, connectivity, poverty alleviation, a rapid lifeline in emergencies, and a lifeline for continued global development, even as the impacts are felt in remotest communities throughout the globe. Through unified collaboration and under Jamaica's leadership, the region's influence to bring change through new opportunities and battling the different threats and challenges can itself be renewed. Jamaica has positioned itself to offer a strategic and a supportive role in enhancing the strengths of our air transport industry. We have always been a country that focuses on capacity building, partnership and direction, and stand ready to assume the responsibilities of helping to shape the worldwide policy of civil aviation by being a member of the ICAO Council for the 2022-2025 Triennium. Jamaica continues to play a pivotal role in our support to aviation safety, air navigation advances, security, law, transport and environmental issues. As a nation, we have a history of involvement and industry achievements, which have resulted in our recognition by the ICAO as a leader in the civil aviation industry among the small island developing states. Chief among our involvement is Jamaica's active participation in the sharing of resources and expertise at various levels. Interactive sessions and workshops, including the ICAO Cabin Safety Group and the ICAO Latin American Civil Aviation Commission, LACAC, Aviation Security and Facilitation Regional Groups and our input in several task forces. Jamaica further continues to play a chief role in the Caribbean Aviation Safety and Security Oversight System, CASOS, an interinstitutional arm of the Association of Civil Aviation Authorities of the Caribbean, particularly through chairmanship and other leadership roles. Through this, the country has made meaningful contribution to the ICAO Council on behalf of the English-speaking Caribbean. Jamaica also serves as vice chair of the ICAO LACAC Aviation Security and Facilitation Regional Group while leading the working group tasked with the development of a cyber security aviation awareness training program for the Caribbean and Latin America. Our experts continue to execute multiple training interventions, share information to facilitate data-driven solutions and present papers regarding security threats and responses within the region. Additionally, our country chairs the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Airport Communication Program Steering Committee, which has led to the implementation of a joint interdiction task force at Jamaica's two major international airports. Furthermore, Jamaica has successfully completed the modernization of all our radar systems, air traffic control automation, and voice communication control systems. These achievements underpinned the country's and region's aviation 
modernization and efficiency efforts, as well as regional advancement under the Global Aviation System Block Upgrade Program. The country has also been honored with various awards, recognitions, and appointments, including Jamaica serving as president of the 40th session of the ICAO Assembly, as represented by the Director General of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, Mr. Nari William Singh. Induction of the Sangster International Airport as one of only six airports worldwide to the Director General's Airport Service Quality Role of Excellence by the Airports Council International. ACI Airport Service Quality Number Two Airport Regional Ranking for the Norman Manley International Airport and various Airports Council International ACI Airport Service Quality Awards for the Most Improved Airport in Latin America and the Caribbean region for the NMIA, Norman Manley International Airport. Jamaica's election to the ICAO Council will place the region in a better position to contribute more meaningfully to strategic discussions and decisions, promoting safety, security, reliability, and modernization in civil aviation as imperatives for a globally safe, secure, and sustainable sector. I extend my cordial welcome to all the distinguished guests for joining in our launch event and express my deep gratitude to all the stakeholders who contribute in one way or another to position in positioning Jamaica as a leading state in the aviation sector. The country has over 75 years of experience in civil aviation with a tradition of actively working to enhance and expand the sector. I look forward to the activities that will be underway through lobbying efforts and further look forward to being elected to the council this year at the ICAO assembly scheduled to be held September 27th to October 7th, 2022, in Montreal, Canada. May God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister Shaw. The next item on our program is a cultural presentation from Corporal Barbara Brandford Witter from the Jamaica Military Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, I think there is no doubt that we must have music uh, infused in all of our candidature activities. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Another round of applause, please. Thank you. We will now have an address from the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, Prime Minister, and this will be um, by video and audio. Honorable Ministers, distinguished heads of diplomatic missions and representatives of international organizations, directors and members of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority and our counterpart civil aviation authorities, attending delegations and participants from other ICAO contracting states, colleagues, friends, and all stakeholders joining us from within Jamaica and various locations worldwide. We are truly delighted that you have joined us for this important launch of Jamaica's candidature for election to the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO Council for the 2022-2025 triennium. Jamaica, our region, and indeed the entire world would be acutely aware that this is a pivotal time in the history and developing states, the region led by Jamaica can play a seminal part in fueling the global aviation industry to explore and engage new opportunities while minimizing and defeating arising threats and challenges, whether universal, regional, or isolated. The first two decades of the 21st century are proving to be the most challenging for our robust efforts to maintain the integrity of the global air transport system and establish a truly international foundation for the growth and development of the industry. Multilateralism and internationalism are crucial pursuits as ICAO and the regions ensure no one is left behind. Jamaica is positioning itself to play an even more supportive and strategic role in the sustainable development and strengthening of the air transport industries and is prepared and ready for the responsibility of being a member of the ICAO Council for the 2022-2025 Triennium. Among our list of involvements and accomplishments, Jamaica continues to undertake a proactive and supportive industry approach while making consistent contributions to various regional 
and international working groups focused on aviation safety, air navigation advances, security, law, transport, and environmental issues. As a result, ICAO as a leader in the civil aviation industry among small island developing states. More specifically, Jamaica remains an active participant, continuing to share resources and expertise at various high-level panel discussions, task forces, interactive sessions, and workshops, including the ICAO Cabin Safety Group and the ICAO Latin America Civil Aviation Commission, Aviation Security and Facilitation Regional Groups. With chairmanship and other leadership responsibilities entrusted to Jamaica for several years, Jamaica continues to play a leading role in the Caribbean Aviation Safety and Security Oversight System, an institutional arm of the Association of Civil Aviation Authorities of the Caribbean. Jamaica has previously successfully hosted several important ICAO events and fora, including the ICAO's Air Transport Regulatory Panel Working Group meeting, which advanced the international organization's air transportation liberalization considerations, made recommendations, and provided guidance in respect of air services agreements. Jamaica is also happy to be able to share security expertise through our subject matter expert who continues to deliver aviation security training on behalf of the ICAO within the North American and Caribbean region. Our country also chairs the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Airport Communication Program Steering Committee, which has led to the implementation of a joint interdiction task force at Jamaica's two major international airports. Jamaica has also worked with the Organization of American States over several years to identify technical experts for delivering aviation security training in the Caribbean region. Another notable achievement has been Jamaica's leadership and vanguard contributions to the UN and ICAO climate change initiatives, with the country being invited to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change's conference of the parties COP to showcase the progress of our airport gate electrification pilot project. This pilot project has been established as the model for implementing future programs of this nature by ICAO. Over the past decade, Jamaica has received several recognitions, awards, and appointments which are testament to our strong performance in the industry. This is Jamaica's 60th year of independence, and Jamaica has been a member of ICAO since 1963, ably representing the English-speaking Caribbean and the ICAO Council over the period 1977 to 1986. Continued strong representation on the ICAO Council by Jamaica, if afforded the opportunity, is even more important for our country and the region for the 2022-2025 triennium. Jamaica and our regional partners rely heavily on the aviation sector to support socioeconomic development, with tourism being the major beneficiary. Jamaica has the demonstrated competence record and expertise to meet the demands of the role and it is my strong belief that Jamaica will play a critical role in taking forward the vision and objectives of ICAO. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I thank the Honourable Prime Minister for those remarks and for his support. Before I move into some closing remarks, let me just take this opportunity as well to thank our sign language interpreter, Antoinette Aiken. Thank you very much, um, Antoinette. As we close this event, it is useful to recap the general remarks that have been made this morning. As a candidate for election to the IKEA Council Part 3, which are states ensuring geographic representation, 
Jamaica is seized of the understanding that based on the current air transport environment and challenges, there is even greater need and room for closer, more multifaceted and multidimensional cooperation between states of different circumstances and regions for the global industry to achieve our mutual goals. Jamaica intends to ensure that its representation evokes the spirit of cooperation and the consensus-driven progress that has epitomized and enabled the work of ICAO since its inception. It has been said that we can see the past but not influence it, but paradoxically, we can also influence the future but not see it. Jamaica and our region invite our fellow ICAO member states to see the possibilities attendant to Jamaica's representation as we work together to achieve the common good of the industry. Through its leadership, representation, and collaboration, Jamaica will work to ensure that all nations achieve the promise and progress made possible by aviation. Valued colleagues, ministers, statesmen, heads of mission, sister ICAO states, and other participants. Your presence has made this a wonderful and successful event. You have been a gracious and attentive audience, and we thank you for the support you have shown by being here physically and in the virtual space. As we thank the event organizers, speakers, presenters, support staff, and entertainment talent for their invaluable input, we look forward to your unwavering support for Jamaica as it positions itself to maximize our region's collaborative potential while ensuring stronger, more productive, and cooperative ties. This will be critical to achieving ICAO's primary goal of ensuring that the global air transport system responds better and more effectively to the needs of all aviation community members and stakeholders. During my tenure as president of ICAO's General Assembly in 2019, the support for Jamaica was quite evident and was quite well felt. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the refreshments that have been provided in an adjoining room. And remember, as we disperse, that each of us is like an angel with one wing. We can only fly or achieve our common objective when we embrace each other. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.